Welcome everyone to the Wrestle Pod. Subscribe now for more pro wrestling and pop culture content. Paul got me an audition, and shortly thereafter, uh, like a month later, Paul got the book, and the first change he made was to make me the play by play man. Jimmy Styles began his career in professional wrestling as an announcer while he was still a student at Hofstra University. He got his start with Tony Capone's North American Wrestling Alliance during this time. He would often share announcing duties with former WWE announcer Craig DeGeorge or collaborate with him as a two-man commentary team. Additionally, Styles hosted a segment called NAWA Superstar Stats where he provided insights into the wrestlers and their achievements. I had decided that I wanted to be a professional wrestling television announcer for my career, despite what my my parents thought and my teachers thought and what pretty much all but one of my friends thought. That was my, my silly dream. The NAWA was briefly televised on Sports Channel America, which is now NBC Sports Network. In 1992, Styles crossed paths with a man named Paul E., which would prove to be the most significant encounter of his wrestling career. Welcome back to Eastern Championship Wrestling. I am Joey Styles in the ECW Control Center. Paul told me to come to ECW for a tryout, but Paul wasn't the executive producer or booker. He was just a talent. His friend Eddie Gilbert was the booker and Todd Gordon was the owner. Unfortunately, Paul didn't tell anyone that he offered me the tryout because he had no business doing it and I showed up in Philly. I found the building, started getting dressed backstage, and I was in my tighty whities when Todd Gordon walked up to me. Todd asked, who are you? And I told him I was there for the announcing audition, and he said, I own ECW and don't know a thing about it. What the hell are you doing in my building? And that was the start of my career with ECW. At first, Styles worked backstage organising and promoting events, but it was his passion in front of the audience which he wanted to provide his skills at. When Paul was in the office, I showed him a tape of the only independent show I had announced. It was at Mount Vernon High School in New York, and it was in June of 1992, and between my junior and senior years of college. It was called the North American Wrestling Alliance, and Hercules and Tony Atlas were the veterans on the card. Taz was doing a Tasmaniac character with no shoes, long hair and his face painted. The pretty boy Tommy Dreamer was wearing these ridiculous sequin suspenders, baggy pants and a robe that his mum had made. Sean Waltman was there as the lightning kid, so there was a lot of talent there. I was a hill colour commentator and I had history by becoming the worst colour commentator ever. Although he was fresh faced and with little in the way of experience, Joey Styles showed that he had a passion for pro wrestling and a willingness to improve and grow under Heyman's tutelage. Paul saw a young, smart mouthed New Yorker and he thought, I'm going to create my own announcer in the mould of Gordon Soley, who can be the straight man in the middle of all of this chaos. Paul made me his choice and he trained me. He had been trained to announce in WCW by Jim Ross. When Paul trained me, he told me specifically, everything I'm telling you was told to me, word for word, by Jim Ross. So I'm training you the way that Jim Ross trained me. Joey um, was a different kind of announcer. Nobody had really ever done what he did. I mean, he the only person that I know that could single-handedly do an entire pay-per-view without a, a color commentator. On June the 19th, 1993, Joey Styles made his first appearance at the electrifying Super Summer Sizzler Spectacular event held in Philadelphia. Styles took on the role of the exclusive host for the ECW Hardcore TV, serving as the sole announcer during the initial phase of the show. He skillfully provided play-by-play -play commentary and insightful colour analysis for both television and pay-per-view broadcasts going forward, infusing the programmes with his extensive wrestling expertise, infectious enthusiasm and impeccable comedic timing. 